So in this video, I wanted to do a brief review of this. It's called the Craftsman Powerhead Vac. It's probably better known as the Craftsman 5-gallon wet-dry vac or shop vac. And uh, basically what it is, it's a small, relatively affordable shop vac that pops onto the top of a standard 5-gallon bucket. And uh, that's really useful because a lot of times when you're doing a smaller job or a cleanup, you don't need your full-on 10 or 12 or whatever gallon shop vac. A five gallon is fine. And then you have the added usefulness that it is this sort of modular design where any of your five gallon buckets, you know, like a $3 Home Depot five gallon bucket, this could pop right on the top of that. You can fill it, move it on to the next one or you could just always have a five gallon of bucket available and this thing is pretty small so you keep it with you and have a shop vac when you otherwise wouldn't. Of course, there's trade-offs like limited capacity, limited power since this thing's not that big and then uh, this will get heavy and there are no wheels, of course. So uh, you're looking at carrying something if this was to fill up, not that it can go up you know, fully full, but you're looking at 20, 30 pounds on a bucket handle, uh, whereas with a normal shop vac, you would have wheels. This thing sells for about $35 to $40, depending on where and when you're buying it. So it's nice and affordable if you need a second shop vac, or you want something to keep in the back of your truck, something like that. Uh, so let's just kind of run through some of the features. It's very simple. You have your inlet, your outlet, on off switch, six foot extension or six foot uh, cord, and that's it. There's no uh, no power settings, no adjustments, nothing like that. It's a standard 110 cord, nothing fancy there. This is a brand new, nice and fancy five gallon Home Depot bucket. The bucket is not included, so make sure you have one. It's not really that big of a deal. Any standard five gallon bucket should work. I have a orange one, a white one, a Home Depot HDX one. They all are fine. Here's the cord or the, sorry, here's the uh, tube that comes with it. This side just is a friction fit in there. And then you have your kind of business end. No accessories are included. This is a standard size. I think it's an inch and a quarter, I want to say, but it won't work with your larger shop backs. Those move to uh, usually about a two inch tube so uh they're not interchangeable but there are accessories and craftsman sells one it's like five dollars to go from the uh, basically to convert from the larger size down to this one or to connect the two different hose sizes it's not a very long hose it's about a four foot hose uh it's, you know it does the job and it's nice because you can keep it in your bucket with no problem here is the vac itself it's pretty small maybe it's four or five pounds all plastic design is very simple. You have your sort of just your standard assembly here. This is how you would use it if it was wet. If you want to use it dry, then you're putting on the bag. And the bag is, this is a genuine uh, craftsman bag. Probably the last time I'll use one of these, but it's totally fine. And this just fits on over here and it's held in place literally with this rubber band. This thing's pretty low budget, but it is uh, it is fine if you need to get, you know, so, uh, vac up some dust or something like that. The rest of the design, again, it's very simple. There's a plastic cage here and that's really it. You're not really gonna see this thing so much. It's gonna be clamped on your bucket most of the time. So not really anything to worry about as far as, you know, repairability or anything like that again it's 40 bucks so it's not like this thing is uh you know gonna save the world or anything like that when you want to use it you put it here you pop it on and you think you're done every single time you'll be wrong because what you forgot to do was to line up the bucket handle with the uh little notches here you don't technically have to do it but you can, and now it's lined up. And now what is nice is that your handle will stand upright, which makes this thing a lot easier to grab and to use if you're not always reaching for your handle. After that, you have your inlet side. That's over here next to the power button. 
and you want to get this thing, this kind of flat side, not the suction side, which would be used for suction and friction fit this in here, it goes in and it stops. And then that's really all there is to it. This thing's relatively loud, but not that bad. Let's do a quick demo. It's a little bit hard to judge, but I could tell you it is nowhere near as loud as the 12 gallon and the larger sizes. Those really get quite loud. Okay, so we're going to run a quick test. On the right side, I have exactly one gallon of dirty water. Nothing too bad, but you know, some uh, definitely some debris in there. On the left, we have a Craftsman vac. I will do a quick test. This won't be for uh, debris or anything like that, just speed and see if, how fast it goes for that one gallon. Okay, starting now. So uh, good there, obviously fumbled the hose a little bit. And then there is some leak back that just has to do with the position of the hose, but you're getting uh, multiple gallons per minute out of this, which is more than sufficient given this thing's uh, not really about speed and power, it's more about versatility and ease of use and always being able to have a vacuum with you. Uh, it's usually for cleanup jobs. So for cleaning out sinks, for getting up, under spills, under uh, you know plumbing accidents, things like that, it's going to be totally fine for. If you have a lot of water you have to move, such as a flood or sort of cleaning out a garbage disposal type area where you're looking for a lot of suction power and you know maybe a gallon or two of water, you're you're definitely not getting the suction power with this, and you have a limited set of accessories as well. This thing is pretty bare bones. So I'd say it gets the job done and I like it and I really appreciate the portability and it doesn't seem to clog. I could, you could suck up anything with this. It's not like using a Dyson where you have to be concerned with uh, clogging it or, you know, kind of ruining it by getting some water in there and, and all that stuff. It, it works great. you just don't expect to get the full on suction power of your full size vacuum. So just want a quick review and just show my thoughts and that's it. It's the Craftsman. Powerhead vac, better known as the five gallon bucket vacuum. Thanks for watching.